I'm straight. What's up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about Ash. So Ash was indeed requested by 3, 2, 1. This is kind of coming on the screen and the person that is going to be next is 3, 2, 1. Anyway, if you'd like to be like them, please feel free to comment down below who you'd like to see next and I will try to get around to every single one of you. Thank you for the massive support on this channel and on the second channel, which I am currently live streaming on as we speak, uh, as this voiceover is being recorded. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video. As always, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you with these tips. As a ranged off breacher in Realm Six Siege, Ash shines in situations where her utility has to be used. Her utility is helpful for creating a line of sight. It's especially useful in ceiling or floors as it helps destroy defenders' gadgets, which would prevent attackers' progress or helps prevent defenders themselves because it can kill them. An example is a chalet snowmobile garage, which she can blow open if they haven't reinforced. It's also good for entering a building to open a line of sight where it could be dangerous if you had to breach charge. Such a scenario can occur due to potential presence of flank from roamers. Example, consulate garage where Ash can wrap on the building and open LOS on the floor through the window to clear out bandit bearers and battery, battery and, and kill an anchor behind the van. And she is capable of opening an unreinforced wall from a distance to clear unexpected defenders or wipe people out and doesn't have to risk running right in there and she can destroy castle barricade from a range which can be very problematic for attackers and she has a lot she has LOS of defense utility which is basically meaning she can just destroy it very very quickly and is very very efficient with it so her efficiency we do not have a golden rule in attacking but however there are a couple of rules that you should use with your utility in basically like a priority system so top priority supporting hard breaches and disabling mirror mirrors supporting mentioned activities usually is the main reason for bringing a thatcher to which will support is although in some situations soft breaches like ash can get the job done relieving both pressure from hard points and support players. Significant uses, creating new lines of sight, oppose opposite vertical control, especially useful for neutralizing heavily fortified anchors from either above or below, and lower priority, clearing defensive utility, breaching rounds can be handy to destroy defenders' traps, which are usually stacked to the entrance to the objective. The most universal and best tip I can give you is to communicate with your team. I cannot stress this enough, if you're in comp, communicate. It's a very helpful, it's a lot easier, and you will win more games. Because talking meaning you can call out your enemy locations and get things done. We're going to talk about her interactions. So her synergies are Ash and Rome Succeeds, just like other entry faggots, can be aided by the presence of Lion, Jackal, Decabia, and Montaigne. And all of those attackers provide benefits to the offensive team that helps clear Romans and push remaining defenders on site. And her counters, currently Rome Succeeds, Ash is a counter to Mira and Bandit. Ash can create line of sight and make her breach around. Counter to Castle, she can blow up his reinforced doorways. Counter to Maestro, as she can obviously blow up. And any trap operator for the obvious reason of she can blow it up but ash is mainly countered by jaeger because it the ads will um destroy her explosive round if you will being shot out and bandit because shock wires will destroy her utility so you can't if you're trying to destroy a bandit trap you actually have to shoot near it and hope that it will explode you cannot actually shoot on it because it will indeed break it and it will not function as well so you basically have to think about basically do they have a jaeger or do they have a bandit and just play around that often with bandit just try to try be more effective or aware of what you have to do and remember your priorities of what you need to go for and that the communication is A playstyle for Ash is an entry fragger. Entry fraggers are the tip of the spear, thus being a force to penetrate through the initial line of defence and give attackers an edge. Such a role assignment means Rome Six Siege, Ash will be the leading operator in hunting down roamers. Hunting roamers minimises the risk of late round flanks, impacting your objective push and ne negatively. Check out uh, other things if you would like to have a roam, I'll leave some few things down below. There's some very very good 
tip videos out there probably by Macy J or people like that who can very much assist but as right as of right now I do not have a guide out by that but if you guys would like to see that comment down below. As a fragger, you're expected to be decisive and not afraid to challenge defenders. Furthermore, entry fraggers play a vital role in advancing attackers during the round and progress is achieved by securing strategically essential locations, i.e. taking control of a room above the objective site if the ceiling is covered with a destructible surface or being the first attacker to control areas frequently tra traversed by defenders to try to rotate it into the objective when they are roaming. Last but not least, Entry Faggers is more often than not the first attacker to put to push hunkered down enemies on the objective. And I recommend that during the preparation phase of your M6C you decide on your entry point depending on personal preference, defense setup, your team plan of attack, and leaving or drawing out the entry point provide you with the right amount of initial intel. It is not uncommon for defenders to try to catch attackers off guard by setting up traps on the entry point and you can neutralize the element of surprise for such a plan and pre-fire defenders or avoid them by knowing what they intend to do and where they are. So why should you play Ash? Just like other operating games like Siege, Ash can be played for all all types of reasons. Her deadly weapons, her excellent quickness as a 3 speed, her loadout complementing an aggressive playstyle, but unfortunately, our main guns doesn't have ACOG anymore. Um, Ash will also I need to depend on Ash will be really good for you if you have fast recesses, like precise aim, fluid movement, good game sense, and map knowledge. So it basically, benefits a well versed player. Well, I hope you guys did go on to enjoy that video. If you guys would like to see something else on the channel or any other type of content, maybe Fortnite guides or something like that, please feel free to comment them down below. They will be much appreciated. If you guys did get that far, comment down aimbot in the comments. Because uh, I would like to see how many people actually get this far in my videos. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did go on to enjoy. Comment down below who you want to see next. And I'll see every single one of you in the next one. Bye bye.